Hey guys, Chris Murphy here. Welcome to today. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery onto your Galaxy Tab P1000. Now, the, P the Galaxy Tab P1000 is a rather old device, about two years on its age. But however, it has a 1 GHz processor, which is really good for mods and ROMs. And it can still run smoothly with those mods and ROMs. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install these mods and ROMs onto your Galaxy Tab. Now, it's not as simple as using a ROM manager because ROM manager requires Clockwork Mod Recovery, and the problem with the Galaxy Tab is that it does not support Clockwork Mod Recovery. Or rather, the other way around, uh, Clockwork Mode Recovery doesn't support the Galaxy Tab. So then, today, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Clockwork Mode Recovery uh, onto your Galaxy Tab and then flash custom ROMs, which would be cool. Anyway, download these two files over here that you have on my desktop. I'll put the links in the description below. They're both MediaFire files, so they should be easy to download and quick and stuff. Now, um, go to Odin 3v1.7.ra, extract, extract Odin uh, 3v1.7.exe, and now double click it and open up the program. Now, uh, once you open up the program, you would see you wouldn't see this yellow thing over here. You just see a blank screen. First, make sure that repartition is unchecked. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that repartition is unchecked because if it's checked, it will break your device and that wouldn't wouldn't be so fun. So make sure it's unchecked. Next, click PDA and click the button. Now search for the other file that I told you to download, CF root blah 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 dot tar. So click that and make sure it's open up over here. Now you're gonna uh, get your Galaxy Tab into download mode, which is basically okay. So first, get your Galaxy Tab in download mode. Power off the device. After you, after you power off the device, um, to turn it on, press and hold the power button together with the volume down button at the same time. Press both at the same time and turn it on. After a while, you see this screen come up. Uh, you see this picture over here, the one with the Android as a construction worker, and says downloading below. So now when that's open, you see one of the boxes here come up as yellow. Now next, before we hit start. Uh, there's some things that I need to, you guys to do. First, uh, go to your task manager, which I have open already over here, and close anything, and I mean anything that has to do with uh, Kais, I mean, sorry, with Samsung or with Android or with Ka Keys, however you pronounce that. Close everything. So as you go to processors and just close everything. So as you can see, I have Kais.pdl uh, here, whatever it is, and process, and just, just honestly close everything, every single thing you can find. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. All right, so now let me explain to you why you do that. Bef um, because sometimes, um, uh, the first few times I did it, what happens that I actually got an error because it detected my uh com here as a virtual as a virtual port, so it didn't actually uh manage to install clock mode mod, and that's also because of Kai's running. So make sure you close every single thing that's to do with Kai's Samsung or Android. All right, now hit start, and you should see this coming up. And it should say edit blah 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 z image kernel firmware and it says reset pass woohoo yay we did it all right so now you should see your Galaxy tab on the other side um starting to come uh starting to turn on again and now congratulations you have clockwork mod installed and now i'll tell you guys what to do with it in the next video so thanks for watching this video i hope you guys um catch me in the next video and i guess i'll put a link here to go to the next one all right um have a nice day goodbye